Brad Dillard from Christie Sports has stopped by and he is showing us a range of Lang boots this morning as well as insoles and custom liners. Custom liners. All right. Good That's morning. Right. Good morning. Thanks for having me today, Claire. How's your spring going? So far, so Five good. Five days into it. I know. It's been great so far. How has your season overall been going? Because we're kind of getting, you know, toward the end. Well, it was a bit of a slow start, as we all know, but we had some great days of skiing out there and really looking forward to some spring skiing toward the end of the season. So, Well, you know, an unexpected infusion on Saturday. Right. A and a foot of snow at Beaver Creek. So incredible. And then we've got, so we've got more in the forecast this week. Not as much, but... You know, I like to undersell and then hopefully the storm overperforms. Well, March and April are historically some of our snowiest months. Right. So we've got a lot to look forward to, yeah. I think. Yeah. And so you brought Lang boots in this morning. Why Lang? Why do you like Lang? Um, well, I wear a Lang boot personally. I think it's a, a great option. They do um, a dual injection, so two different kinds of plastic, something that has a lot of uh, energy right at the bottom and then something that absorbs all the energy right at the cuff. So when you bend into that boot, you don't get kicked around or bounced around by the snow. I have to say it's kind of you know visually kind of a skinny looking boot. It doesn't look bulky, especially in this section here. Yeah. It, it definitely looks a lot more compact than a lot of boots you see. So it's nice to say that because Lang used to have a reputation for being a really narrow boot. Not the case anymore. What we have here is the SX. It's their wider option, a wider last. So up here in the toe box, you get more room. Uh, and you also noticed that the uh, cuff was a little bit smaller too. Yeah. And so what we have back there is a cuff spoiler, if I can get this thing out of here. Pardon me. Uh, but one way or the other, there's a plastic bit back here that we can actually pull out. Okay. That Velcro's right out and we can make some more room in the cuff. Oh, so it's, ex you know, it's, it's, expandable. it's expandable and customizable. Exactly. Okay, and now why these three right here? And by the way, are these men's or women's or Well, I've both? got two men's and I've got one women's. The okay. SX120 that I brought here, like I said, is their wide boot. Okay. Uh, we also have a mid-volume boot, the RX130. All right. Um, a little bit stiffer, and also, like I said, it's, rather than the wide forefoot, you've got an average forefoot. Okay. Um, with the ladies, we also have this one in men's, too. Okay. Uh, this is the XT, so a hikeable version. You've got on the back a hike feature that lets you walk uphill oh, okay. um, a little bit easier than one of these boots would let you. Now, these are four buckle boots. What's mm -hmm. the difference between like a three buckle and a four buckle boot? Well, in some cases with three buckle boots, we might have a three piece boot, which these are not. These are a traditional two piece boot with a cuff and a forefoot. Okay. Um, a lot of times with the three buckle boots, you'll see uh, a three piece boot that has the, the forefoot, the cuff, but then it also has a tongue that hinges all the way down. Yes. So a little bit different design, accomplishing all the same goals. Uh, this is just a little bit more traditional and tried and true. Okay, and who, who would you recommend these this level of boot for? Uh, anybody and everybody. The, okay. the um, numbers on the side are going to refer to the flex, and the stiffer the boot, the, generally the more aggressive of a skier you're going to want to have in that boot. Okay. Um, so we do have different flex patterns for each individual skier and a different foot pin, footprint excuse me, for each skier too. And so you brought some items to kind of customize your boot even more to yourself. Absolutely. Custom insoles, the most important part of the boot. I okay. recommend this for any and every boot. This is going to support your arch, get your foot in the right position for everything to line up the way that it's supposed to. Okay, and this is a liner? This is an aftermarket liner. So um, a lot of people will go for the full custom fit right out of the store. So they'll buy the boot, okay. they'll get rid of this liner, take the insole and the uh, our custom liner and make a full custom fit. You can also look at this as an aftermarket liner to replace your packed outliner. Okay. So if you've had a, a ski boot for a few years, you're noticing that your liner isn't fitting quite the way that it used to, this is a good alternative to keep you skiing in that same boot. I know you all have four locations in the valley. Do you do this customization at all locations? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So people can find this and you know I know we're getting to the end of the season. Have you put the Langs on sale just yet or not? Langs not yet? are on sale and everything else is on sale too. Okay. Um, we've got skis on sale, boots, bindings, all are on sale. Uh, a lot of the soft goods are on sale too. We're even selling our demo skis now too. So come in if you want a really good deal on some demo skis. Brad, what, what location are you I'm at? I'm at the Avon store and we've got four in town. We're at the top of Bridge Street in Vail, uh, the Beaver Creek location and our new store in Westville. Thank you so much. Great talking with Glad you. Glad to be here. Thanks very much. It's Brad Dillard of Christie Sports. Stay tuned. Coming up, we've got another look at your weather forecast.